Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and today we have a crane, and we're going to go to grid map just so we have a nice, big, wide open area to uh, play around with it. Okay, so the thing we're going to look at is called the DM Crane, so let's just go ahead and grab it and get it out here. And it's kind of hard to see it right now because of the way the camera starts, so let's zoom out so you can just see it in its full size. It is very big, and it is just a giant crane that can be used to grab cars and drop cars. It doesn't really do too much. But it does fully function, which is nice. So let's go and spawn a car out and uh, show you how it works. So we're just going to put this car nice and easily into the crane itself for convenience's sake. And that way we can show off exactly how you control it. So we're just going to put the car right here. And now we can become the crane. Once you're the crane, the way you control it is all these little buttons right here in the bottom right corner. Right here, these are the buttons you use to control it. To close the crane, use the parking brake. To lift it, use the headlights. And to, clo to bring it closer and farther from the uh, base of the crane, you use the blinkers. And that is how you control it. So now you don't have to ask how do you control it when you download it. And once you have it uh, set up wherever you want it or whatever, you can drop the car. Now one thing I will say that's kind of a little bit of a pain is the way these controls work is they either are keep they don't stop. Like when you watch when you hit the blinker off, it recenters itself to the center instead of just stopping where it is. And it's the same thing with the height. For the height, if you want to drop the height, you hit the the headlights again, but there's no hold this height button. It's either going it's gonna go up until it hits the top or go down until it hits the bottom. And that's how it works for the left and right as well. Which is just a little bit annoying at times because it makes trying to grab some taller vehicles difficult. So there we go. We just dropped this truck onto its side and now we could try to pick it up, but it's uh it is it's not exactly the easiest thing to pick up with because you have to have the vehicles in a fairly specific position. Because there's no like left and right movement like this. You don't have that. So if you try to do that, it's not going to work out. And I just pushed the truck out of the way, and I don't think I'm going to be able to grab it now. So that is not good at all. That is ruining everything. I hit the wrong button, and I am ashamed of doing that. Let's see. Can we bring it back? Can we bring it back? Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back. Grab it. Just clip it a little bit. Oh, it's not going to work. Nope, nope, nope. Let's just reset it. Uh, oh, I do like the little stickers on this thing, though. There's just these little stickers that say, Caution. Heavy equipment. It's just the little textures on it are nice. Um... But that is that. That's really what it does. It's um, kind of a single-use thing. Like it, you grab cars with it, and yeah, what else do you do? Uh, grab more cars. I don't know. And you could try breaking it, sure. But that's really not the point. It's not made to be broken. It kind of just breaks um, in weird ways because it's not made to be broken. It's just the way the mod is. It's it'll just do weird things when you try to break it. But look, you can lift your car up. So you can say like, what if you were in the car? So if you're in the car and then you got crushed by the crane, the crane would become invisible. Nah, that doesn't work, does it? So we could just look at the car real closely, though. You can see it does crush it and grab it simultaneously. How convenient. And then when you're done, you just drop it and woo! Splat. And you pick it up again and drop it again and pick it up again and drop it again and yeah. That's how it works, man. Let's go ahead and try picking up something a little heavier. Let's try picking up a steamroller. I don't know what will happen here for sure. Might work, might um, just break it because it's too heavy, I'm not sure. Ooh, one thing, I'm thinking this is going to be really hard to lift up because this is, again, a taller vehicle. So what that means is it's just, um, you kind of have to do some finagling sometimes to pick this up. I'll show you what I mean if I have to do it. Hopefully, I line it up good enough where I don't have to do much of it, though, but let's see. Oh, yeah, this thing has terrible churning radius and is really slow to make its maneuvers. This is, oh, my goodness, I look like a drunk driver. This is bad. Let's put it into manual mode, that way I can actually slow down. Problem is it has no brakes, so you have to shift in the reverse and just hold the gas to slow down. Yeah, that's uh, that's real safe, isn't it? Don't do that in your real car ever, it'll just probably absolutely ruin something. There we go, and now we can lift it up. Can we lift it up? Oh, we can. That's what's up, grabbing a steamroller with my claw thing. And I believe the colors don't actually do anything on this. They don't do a single thing because you have a texture. Well, if you, they do something, it would probably look weird. I never bothered because I don't think it will. But uh, you know what? Since we have this steamroller in the air, we should drop, a, drop it onto a car. That's what I'm thinking. And if we uh, actually, you know what? We could get it even higher up into the air if we do this, right? I think it should go higher now. Yes, it is. Look at that. It's going higher. Can the crane pull it off? And no problem here. This crane is strong. Look at that, that is a strong crane. That is a no lightweight vehicle by any means. That thing is heavy. And it lifts it up like it's nothing. 
Oh no, it fell. No, you're not supposed to fall yet. Hey, I was supposed to get under you and then you were supposed to fall. Come on. Oh, that's unfortunate. It just dropped it. I was saying how strong you are. You're so strong. And then you just drop it. Like, I'm, I'm done. Look at the thing. It's like, oh, it got bent. It got bent. It just, it, it broke. That's why it gave up. Oh no, poor crane. See, like I said, it wasn't really made to be broken. It just gets broken, unfortunately, sometimes. You go ahead and try that again. Well, that crane is a pain to line up. I don't want to try that again. I mean, not the crane, the um, steamroller. Let's just grab another car. Park the car, grab the car, and drop it. Now grab it again. Try to, like, squish it a little bit. Squish it. Squish it. Oh, goodness. Whoop, the car is stuck. I got the car stuck. Oh, well. That'll work, too. Get it up there, and then... I don't know what to do. I can't drop it. Oh, there we go. It fell eventually. And the car's on the ground. Um, but that's really what the, what you do with it. I can't think of anything else that's actually using it as it's supposed to be used, but you can do weird things like, uh, you know, what if you tried sun gravity or something, see what that does. You know, this thing's pretty strong, though. I don't know if sun gravity will be able to do anything. Whoa, look at that. Can it still lift itself? Can it still... Whoa, camera. Can it still lift itself? Oh, it looks really jerky because it's like, it's, it's trying hard. But it still lifts itself. Look at that. That crane is... You don't want to mess with it. I don't think it could lift anything up because I'm pretty sure the force or the weight that it's picking up is way too strong now. Uh, but we could try it. But with sun gravity on, I don't think it'll happen. Well, here's what we could do. We could put it on earth gravity, pick up a car, and then try putting sun gravity on once it's already in place. That should be the easiest way to get things done. So we're just going to go ahead and... Oh, no. Stop it. Bad crane. No going in the wrong spot. No, steamroller. Shush. Stop. Stop accelerating, steamroller. You're busted. I do wish there was a way to maybe rotate the angle of the grabbers. That would be nice as well. I don't know if it's uh, if it's really a, a way to do that with the amount of buttons you have, per se. Uh, the main thing I would like is just the ability to f keep it at a certain height or whatever. That'd be nice. Anything else is just extra, but the keeping it at a height, that would make it a bunch easier to use. So we got the car in the crane, but watch when we hit sun gravity. It's probably just going to fall right out. Oh, it didn't. Okay, try to lift it. Do you lift? Oh my goodness, it can lift. This thing lifts, man. Don't mess with it. With a car that is weighing, you know, the actual weight of this car in, in terms of like pounds is absurd because you have to do, you have to multiply the normal weight and stuff. And it, it just gets ridiculously heavy and I can't believe it actually stayed. Watch what happens when we drop it. <laughs> the crane actually jumped upwards. It was like boom because it had so much weight on it. Oh, let's try the steamroller now. Because I'm pretty sure the steamroller is heavier than both the H-Cube. And I think it's like the, the single heaviest vehicle there is that we could easily grab with a crane. Like we could try to grab other things with the crane like a plane. But I'm not really sure that would work out too well. It would be more of a mid-air collision, probably, if we tried to use a plane. With a steamroller, we can kind of pick it up. Kind of pick it up. Because this is, see, this is the problem where I was talking about the height. Like, right here, it would be perfect to just be able to whoop, whoop, little, adjust the height a bit and hold it there. So, let's just, we're going to just try to grab it right by the front only, because that's the easiest part to grab it by. So, we're just going to stick the front right there. Alright, there we go. Be the crane and grab it. I don't know if it has a good grip on it, but let's throw, throw the sun gravity on. Oh, okay, um... Oh, nope, nope, it is too heavy, or it's too a little too glitchy on both sides. That did not go well. My grabber is busted up as well. My poor grabber is busted. But one thing that is impressive is this thing holds up the sun gravity without, a, without any real significant problems. That is impressive. Because think about anything else that actually functions in sun gravity, because I got nothing. Uh-oh. It just jerked really hard, and oh, it's fine. It's totally fine. It just was glitching out just a little bit, but it's no big deal. Can we grab it again? Let's try to... Ah, uh, the steamroller's off-center, so we can't grab it. Let's try to move the steamroller then. 
Oh, it's gonna, it's steamroller's not gonna move. Look at the gravity we're on. It's not even a steamroller anymore. It's just a pile of mushed up car parts that were once a steamroller. So I'm gonna try to just move it forward just a smidge so we can try to grab it by the center, which might be a little more durable. And having no brakes really makes putting this in a specific spot difficult. Mm. See, it's like there's no, you can't actually stop. There, okay, we got it to stop. That was a lot harder than it should have been, but we got it to stop. So now we're gonna try to grab it like this. And see, we don't, we can't hold it at its position and kind of let the the grabber relax. We have to swing it about and try to grab it mid swing, which is not easy. I think we got it. All right. Well, I don't know if we really got it, but we'll try it anyways. No, nope, no, nope. it's too, it's too uh, awkwardly shaped to grab the steamroller. Um, but that really is the claw. Uh, I guess we could try stupid stuff like throwing the wind at it and trying to really, totally destroy it. But that's really what it does, and it, it doesn't do much more. It's like that is what it does. It grabs cars, in any gravity. So what if we put some wind on? Let's say, 200 wind. Ooh, it gets hit. Can we can we lift it up still? Oh, this wind is downward, by the way. So it's like the the wind plus the gravity is really holding this thing back. You know, I bet this thing will shoot off if we respawn the this in a different spot. Watch this. Whoop! Way to go! Oh my goodness! I broke it. I bent it up. And I really bent it up. It's not. It's not looking good because the wind should be doing something to it, and the gravity. Oh, we made it fall over. I tipped over my crane. That took a lot of force to tip over, though. What if we put a car under it? Where's my cars? Where are my cars at? My cars are wrecked. Just go put a car under it and then see what happens. Because for it to be able to stand up like that, this thing must weigh a bunch. I haven't actually checked, but it must be heavy. Alright. So now we have to somehow lift it back up. I'm hoping we could just do something like hit one of the buttons and it'll fix itself, but that may not be the case. It may be totally busted. It's totally busted. I have ruined the crane. It is broken. I have broken it. So instead, we'll just drop it onto a car. Because that's easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go freeze physics, reset the crane, and then put the car under the crane. So there's not a big drop here, it's a real small drop, but it should just totally destroy it. What? What? Where'd my car go? My car is gone! It's totally fine. Oh, it might not... I guess the crane doesn't do that much damage to a car. Huh. That's surprising. That is a very surprising occurrence. I did not expect that at all. And the one thing, I can't really place it on the car easily, I don't think. Yeah, because it kind of spawns off center from where you place it. So, that's not easy. You can't just go like, I'm above the car and place it, because look. See, it's all... Oh, oh, it did get it. It does work. Oh, something's happening now. Something really happened. And the car despawned. And Oh, my crane is running away. Or is that my steamroller? Wait a minute, that's my steam. Where's my crane? My crane's there. Okay, my steamroller ran away. What are you doing? You weren't even part of this. And you decided just to blow up? Do you just want attention? You're like, nobody's looking at me. I'm going to blow up. Is that, is that what's going on? You could calm down. I see you. I see you, Steamroller. I still care about you. Um, but that'll do it for the crane. And until next time, this has been YBR. And you know what? You know, I'll just grab one more car just because it's cool. We'll grab one more car because I changed my mind. And this is YBR's channel. YBR do what YBR want to do. And YBR want to grab some cars. Oh, we put the steamroller on a, a edge, though. That's no... I mean, the... I keep saying steamroller. I don't know why. Uh, the crane on the ledge, which is no good. We need to get it reset and down so we can pick up a car. And it can pick up any of the stock vehicles, no problem, by the way. I'm just showing off the truck just because it's kind of the easiest to pick up. I don't know why. I think it might just be a, conve uh, a coincidence more than anything that's the most convenient to pick up, but... It is, for me, the easiest to pick up.
So like just like that we picked it up very badly. And now it's falling. Which I totally expected to happen, honestly. So I have no real sadness about that. Because we can still drive it and we can put it back into the claw and let it be grip grabbed again. The problem is just the claw is swinging so much. It makes it hard to do anything. It's just swinging and swinging and swinging. There we go. That's a good grab. That is a perfect grab right here. Alright. Yeah, that's a grab. Lift it up. And now we can end the video on a happy dropping the car note. So if you were the crane operator, maybe you'd have a seat up here. It depends on the kind of crane, but you could have like a seat up here or just at the control panel. You would watch the car as you lift it, and then you would drop it. That's how it would work. Right? About something like that? I don't know. I never operated a crane, okay? Anyways, till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya!